From ancient wonders to modern marvels, China offers a blend of history, culture, and breathtaking landscapes. So, without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 places you must visit in China. Number 10. The Bund, Shanghai. Picture this. You're standing on a waterfront promenade, the futuristic skyline of Pudong on one side, and a row of grand colonial-era buildings on the other. Welcome to the Bund, Shanghai's architectural time machine. This mile-long stretch along the Huangpu River is where East meets West, Old meets New, and your Instagram feed meets its match. By day, it's a bustling business district. But at night, it transforms into a neon-lit wonderland that'll make you feel like you've stepped into a sci-fi movie. Fair warning, though, it gets crowded. Really crowded. Especially at sunset when everyone and their selfie stick shows up for that perfect shot. But hey, what's a little jostling among fellow tourists when you're witnessing one of the world's most iconic skylines? Number 9. Li River, Guangxi If you've ever seen those misty Chinese landscape paintings and thought, no way that's real, then buckle up, buttercup. The Li River is about to blow your mind. Flowing from Gelen to Yangshua, this river cuts through a landscape of karst mountains that look like they've been plucked straight out of a fairy tale. Imagine limestone peaks shrouded in mist, rising dramatically from the water like giants playing hide and seek. The best way to experience it? A leisurely boat cruise, of course. Just don't be surprised if you feel like you've accidentally wandered onto a movie set. In fact, this landscape is so surreal it was featured in Star Wars, Episode 3. That's right, even George Lucas couldn't resist its charms. Number 8. Terracotta Army, Xi'an Ever wondered what 8,000 life-sized clay soldiers standing in formation would look like? No? Well, you're about to find out anyway at the Terracotta Army in Xi'an. This underground army was built to protect Emperor Qin Shi Huang in the afterlife. Because apparently, when you're the first emperor to unify China, you need an entire clay army to watch your back even when you're dead. The level of detail is mind-boggling. Each soldier has unique facial features, and they're all arranged in perfect battle formation. It's like the world's largest, most intricate game of toy soldiers, except these ones are over 2,000 years old. Here's a fun fact. The soldiers were originally painted in bright colors. So while they might look monochrome now, back in their day, they were as colorful as a bag of Skittles. Talk about faded glory. Number 7. Zhangjiajie National Forest Park, Hunan All right, Avatar fans, this one's for you. Remember those floating mountains in the movie? Well, turns out James Cameron didn't just make them up. He was inspired by the surreal landscape of Zhangjiajie. This park is home to thousands of sandstone pillars that stretch towards the sky like nature's very own skyscrapers. The effect is so otherworldly, you'll be half expecting to see a flying dragon swoop past. The star of the show is the Avatar Hallelujah Mountain, renamed after the movie due to its uncanny resemblance to the floating peaks of Pandora. And if that's not enough to get your heart racing, you can always take a stroll on the glass-bottomed bridge suspended 300 meters above the ground. Because nothing says vacation like feeling like you're walking on air, right? Number 6. The Forbidden City, Beijing Ever wanted to see where Chinese emperors lived, loved, and probably through some epic parties? Well, step right into the Forbidden City, the world's largest palace complex and China's version of Cribs, Imperial Edition. This massive complex in the heart of Beijing has nearly 1,000 buildings and covers an area the size of 140 football fields. It was home to 24 emperors over 500 years, and regular folks weren't allowed in, hence the forbidden part. Today, it's open to all, and trust me, you'll need all the time you can get to explore it. From the grandeur of the throne rooms to the intimate gardens where emperors escaped court life, every corner has a story. Just a heads up, 
it gets busy. Really busy. Number five, Victoria Harbor, Hong Kong. All right, let's take a quick detour to Hong Kong for what might just be the world's most dazzling light show. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Victoria Harbor. By day, it's a bustling port where traditional junk boats share the waters with gleaming yachts and massive cargo ships. But as the sun sets, Victoria Harbor transforms into a neon-lit extravaganza that'll make Times Square look like a kid's nightlight. The star of the show is the Symphony of Lights, a nightly multimedia show where buildings on both sides of the harbor light up in a synchronized dance. It's like the buildings are having their own party, and you're invited. For the best view, hop on the Star Ferry for a cross-harbor trip. It's cheap, it's iconic, and it offers front row seats to one of the world's most spectacular skylines. Just be prepared for some serious neck craning as you try to take it all in. Number four, the Great Wall, Beijing. You didn't think we'd leave this one out, did you? No trip to China is complete without a visit to the Great Wall, the world's longest screensaver and China's way of saying, not in my backyard, to Mongol invaders. Stretching over 13,000 miles, this massive fortification is the only man-made structure visible from space. Or at least that's what we like to tell ourselves. Turns out it's not actually true. But hey, it's still pretty darn impressive. The most popular section is Mushianyu, about 70 kilometers from Beijing. It's well restored, less crowded than other sections, and has a toboggan ride down. Because nothing says ancient wonder of the world, like sliding down it like you're at a theme park, right? Fair warning though, it's a tough climb. The steps are steep and uneven, and there's a lot of them. But trust me, when you're standing on top of the wall, looking out over the rolling hills, you'll feel like you're on top of the world. Just don't forget to bring water, sunscreen, and maybe a personal Sherpa. Number three. Giant Panda Breeding Research Base, Chengdu. Who doesn't love pandas? These black and white fuzzballs are basically living, breathing teddy bears. And at the Giant Panda Breeding Research Base in Chengdu, you can see them in all their bamboo munching glory. This is not your average zoo. It's a serious research facility dedicated to panda conservation, but don't worry, it's also panda watching paradise. You can observe these gentle giants lounging about, chomping on bamboo, and generally being adorable. The best time to visit is in the morning when the pandas are most active. And by active, I mean eating bamboo with slightly more enthusiasm than usual. Let's face it, pandas aren't exactly known for their high-energy lifestyle. Just remember, no matter how cute they look, resist the urge to hug them. These cuddly-looking bears are still wild animals, and they've got the claws to prove it. Plus, I'm pretty sure mauled by panda isn't the souvenir you want to bring home from China. Number 2. Westlake, Hangzhou Imagine a place so beautiful that it's inspired countless poets, artists, and garden designers for over 2,000 years. Welcome to Westlake, Hangzhou's crown jewel and proof that sometimes, Nature really does know best. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is like a traditional Chinese landscape painting come to life. Willow-lined banks, arch bridges, pagodas reflected in the still waters. It's almost too perfect to be real. The lake is divided into five lakes connected by bridges, and each section has its own charm. Don't miss the ten scenes of Westlake, especially three pools mirroring the moon. It's a set of pagodas in the lake that, on a full moon night, create a magical play of light and reflection. But here's the best part. Westlake is smack in the middle of Hangzhou, a bustling city of 10 million people. It's like Central Park, if Central Park was 2,000 years old and had better feng shui. So after a day of serenity by the lake, you can hit the city for some world-class shopping and dining. Talk about the best of both worlds. Number 1. Temple of Heaven, Beijing And here we are, folks, the crown jewel of our list, the Temple of Heaven. 
A masterpiece of Ming Dynasty architecture, this temple isn't just another pretty structure. It's a symbol of the harmonious relationship between heaven and earth. Located in the heart of Beijing, the Temple of Heaven was where emperors would come to pray for good harvests. The circular design of the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests represents heaven, while the square base symbolizes earth, a perfect reflection of traditional Chinese cosmology. Today, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a peaceful oasis in the midst of the bustling capital. Visit early in the morning, and you'll find locals practicing Tai Chi, flying kites, or playing traditional Chinese instruments. It's a serene escape that gives you a glimpse into Beijing's soul. The temple's intricate design, beautiful surroundings, and profound history make it a must-visit destination. Whether you're fascinated by its spiritual significance or simply want to marvel at its architectural beauty, the Temple of Heaven is the perfect ending to our journey through China's top 10 wonders. And there you have it, folks. These 10 spots are just the tip of the iceberg. So don't be afraid to venture off the beaten path and create your own China adventure. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Until next time, happy travels.